guys. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Come on, Jesus Christ. So uh, uh, I had a good New Year, and uh, the dumbest holidays coming up, as Fraser said, though, Valentine's Day. Guys, am I right? What a cr crock this is, huh? Oh, buy jewelry and buy flowers and buy candy. Bye, bye, bye. I get my girlfriend the same thing every year. Drunk. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fellas, it makes an awesome Christmas gift, too. Let me tell you. Woo! <laughs> so I just got engaged. And, uh, yeah, don't clap. Don't clap. Don't clap. No, no. No, no. Clap for guys who cure cancer. Wins. You know, something that... Something not anybody can do, you know? Apparently, any idiot can get engaged. But, uh, but I'm, I'm happy, huh? Yeah. yeah. Actually, the reason, uh, the reason we uh, decided to get married is because we're going to have kids. We want to have kids. And we kind of need to hurry up because I was reading that uh, it's dangerous to have kids when you're over 40. And I'm 42. So, you know, my, yeah, exactly. But my girlfriend, or fiance, she's like, well, I'm still in my mid-30s. <laughs> well, it's not about you, huh? <laughs> you know, I could be hoping in the delivery room and strain my back or something, right? <laughs> oh, oh, it's, it's a boy. I, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's a slow boy. Uh, don't cry, honey. At least we know he can be in the Olympics now, huh? <laughs> It's all about the silver lining, isn't it, people? Huh? Mm. But we did decide, actually, we did decide if we, if we can't have our own kids, we're going to adopt a kid. Thank you very much. And we, uh, <laughs> we were talking about this. Uh, this is true. And we decided we're not going to get an infant, but probably an older kid, 10, 11, 12-year-old kid, and, and uh, doesn't have to be a white kid. We were thinking a, another ethnicity, like uh, Asian, probably Chinese. And I think that's super important, I really do, especially for me, because I just got a new computer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, those bastards are good with computers, boy. And math, oh my God. Quan help daddy with taxes, huh? <laughs> now go tell your sister daddy needs a massage. All right. And, and tell her daddy's like happy endings too, huh? Not just fairy princesses. Can this be on a phone? I don't, I'm not clear on this. Uh, <laughs> might need to edit this one, Bob, I think. <laughs> so uh, we've been together 15 years, 15 years. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, well, after all this time, actually, sex is not really the uh, marathon it used to be. We used to have all those all night marathons, you know, now it's more of a 200 meter relay kind of thing. <laughs> well, I start out really good, you know, I'm all peppy, you know, and then I, then I kind of wear down. It's like, <sighs> <laughs> instead of a baton though, it's a vibrator, you know? So, I'll meet you at the finish. And, and, and women say guys are into electronics, huh? Come on. You won't see a guy doing that with the remote. Come on. It's nasty. <laughs> oh, but men and women, we never figure each other out, do we? Never, ever, ever. Here's, here's a good example of how we don't get it. My girlfriend, I'm always giving her grief about all, all the time and money she'll spend on her fingernails. And she says, well, we do these things for you guys. Guys, been at a bar with your buddies, hanging out. Some really hot girl walks in. Do you ever hear, hey, check out the set of nails on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> She's a 10. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> now you don't hear that, right? Because we don't say that. I'm not trying to speak for all guys. I'm sure there's guys out there who look at your fingernails. <laughs> yeah, in fact, they're called gay guys. <laughs> yeah, and they love everything about you women. Except for your whole, yeah, except for your whole. But, <laughs> I see where we're going now, people, all right. 
hey, no, I'm not homophobic. You know, some of my best friends, friends are So, um, <laughs> but I would recommend to all you straight guys, seriously, that you find a nice gay man for your wife or girlfriend to have around. And I'll tell you why, because they'll do all that crap you don't want to do. Huh? Go shoe shopping, so you don't have to be the pathetic guy on the bench in the mall. You know that guy? <laughs> you don't want to be that guy. Talk to her for hours about emotions. Plus, you'll never have to worry about him trying to sleep with her. In fact, she could walk around naked in front of him, and somehow, you don't get angry. It's like they have magic powers. <laughs> I guess that's why we call them fairies. <laughs> No, 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 that's not why. They can fly. <laughs> Just won't do it in front of straight people. <laughs> so did you guys hear there's a uh, Wonder Woman movie coming out? Wonder Woman fans? Oh, God, I love that show. Linda Carter made a man out of me. <laughs> she don't know it, though, so it'll just be our little secret, okay? Couple problems with the Wonder Woman show though. One, chauvinistic. You guys are like, superhero woman, Dean. How could it be chauvinistic? Well, I'll tell you. Remember her superhero weapon? The lasso of truth, right? Eh, what did Superman get? Let's see, uh, oh, super speed, uh, x-ray vision. Oh yeah, he could fly. What did Wonder Woman get? Honesty, yeah, all right, woo. <laughs> What kind of confessions was she getting exactly, huh? It's like, gotcha, oh, eight nice boobs. <laughs> you guys have been awesome, I didn't, Ben Dean Wolf. Thank you very much.